Namaste. I'm Preeti and today I'm going to show you a little sequence of a couple of poses to build strength and get flexibility and it's a flow of some poses. So let's get it started and when I'm going to show the poses at the same time I'm going to explain the right technique and the other stuff. Um, so we're going to go in our mat when our palms on the ground. Uh, a little front if you're taller so you have enough room to go and back. Make sure your fingers are stretched. Wrists are aligned with the shoulder. So whenever our palms on the ground, this is a tip that our shoulder should be aligned with the wrist, knees aligned with the hip line. We're gonna do a cat and cow pose. So with inhale, we're gonna take our head up. Hips are pushing up and we're pulling the spine down. So we're making a nice arc for the spine. We back sail. We're gonna pull our spine like a cat towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale. We're gonna do a five rounds like that. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So each time when we're going up and down, full focus on your spine. So we're getting a flexibility for your spine. Now with inhale, in a first position. Now we're going to take a left leg high up to the sky and the right hand up to the sky. We exhale, we're gonna make an arc in our back, touching our knee and elbow. With inhale, going up. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. From the last one going up, inhale. Nice arc in the back towards the ground. And with exhale, taking a spine towards the sky. Now we come into the initial position. Back straight. I'm gonna take the right leg up, taking the left hand up, exhale, knee and elbow together, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Then coming to the neutral position again. Now from here, we're going to turn our toes in. Going back to the downward dog. Spine is straight. Looking in between your palms. Now from here, we're going to bring our left leg in between the palms. So make sure your toe and your fingers in one line. Now from here, we're going to bring our hand sideways up, right knee is up. We're pushing the pelvis down, getting a nice pelvis opening. And I stay there for one, two, three, four, and five. Give a little push back to your back. Come straight forward. So we're leaning on our thigh. And thigh in the front. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to 
bring our hands back to the ground. We're going to take the left leg back to the right. Side the right one. Downward dog. And now we're going to bring our right leg in between the palm and the front. Now from here the same. We're going to extend our arms sideways. Coming up. Counting one. Two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to lean forward, looking straight, extending our arms. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's go back again. We didn't push the back on the last moment. So pushing it back and then coming down. We're gonna take a right leg back beside the left one. Making a nice downward dog. Put your knees on the ground. Going back to the child pose. Relax for a while. Couple of normal breathing. And come up. Coming to our table pose. Table is when our wrist aligned with the shoulder and our knees aligned with our hips. Now we're gonna go back to the downward dog. We're going to take our left leg high up in the air. And with inhale, we're going to bend our knee and pushing it all the way in. So now we're building a curve. It's really good to building a strength for our body. Now with inhale, we're going to go up, high up, bending the knee again. Bringing to the left side, make sure your elbows are locked, we're not bending them and shivering. Hold all the way in. We can count one, two, three, four, and five. We go back up again. Nice stretch. When your left leg is up, right heel press towards the ground. You're gonna bend our knee. Gonna bring it to the right side, push it all the way in. One, two, three, four, and five. Going up again, high up. Gonna bring it to the right side with open foot. If you're a beginner, for sure it's not for beginners, you have to take it easy. One, Two, three, four, and five. We're gonna go up again. Now so from here we're bringing it in first position in between. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we go back up again. Bringing your legs back. If you feel so tired, you can go back to the child pose and relax right here for a while. And if you're okay, you can continue. Just continue with the right foot, the same thing. Like we're going to go. Taking the right leg up. So I didn't relax much. I want to continue. You can pause the video and can relax wherever you feel tired. Bringing the foot in. One, two, Three, four, and five. Going up and down with dog. Leg is high up. Left heel is touching the ground. Gonna bend the knee. Bringing to the right side. One, two, three, four, and five. Sweating is good. So don't worry about it. Gonna go up. Gonna bring to the other side. 
just a little bit more keep doing it two three four and five it's gonna go back up actually when we take our foot up back this is a kind of relaxing time gonna take the foot the left side open one two three four and five going up high up now we're gonna come to the first position bringing in the middle one two three four and five gonna go back up high up open your pelvis bring your leg back to the ground now it's a relaxing time gonna put our knees on the ground leave your arms loose put your head down just let it go you're breathing normal just follow your breath Gonna come up. Now we're gonna open up our legs to relax them after the hard, heavy workout. So we're gonna tumble our legs like that to relax them. You're gonna feel um, some tension in your wrist because there's a lot of workout to the wrist. So how we relax our wrist? We make a lock like that. Close your eyes with inhale, extend them out. Exhale, bring them in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now we're gonna open our eyes and you're gonna feel that your wrists are a bit relaxed but even if you feel tension don't worry about it just don't push hard okay do it in your pace find out your label but the beginners or the intermediate label or the expert people they all can do it you have to just break down according to your body now a tip for all the session we did the poses for that or even for in the concept of whole yoga when we do some poses we follow our breath so you don't have to remember when i said inhale you have to do inhale and how you're going to put it together with the pit, your pose just follow your chest your lungs so when we opening our lungs it's inhale when we closing them it's exhale so in any pose follow your lungs so it's like we when do the back bending it's opening when we do forward it's closing it's exhale so when we were doing this we were opening our lungs when we're going up from here but when we're going down exhale because we're closing our lungs so remember that you don't have to really remember with the pose how the inhale and exhale take your time don't rush now who not supposed to do it uh, the people who has uh, abdomen surgery they're not supposed to do it without under the uh, instruction so they need an instructor to do that it's a really hard for our arms for the wrist and for shoulder so if you have an injury or muscle issue take your time and uh, find out that how much you can take but don't put so much pressure for your hands but if no issue in the body and you're going to build a strength for the arms for the wrist this is the best pose always start whenever to put your hands or knees on the ground with the table pose which i mentioned in beginning i'm going to show you again if we don't start right we don't continue right and we don't end it up right so starting right is always when your palms on the ground is that our wrist and shoulder align 
and our knees and hip line is aligned. So whenever our palms on the ground, knees on the ground, this is the key and we call it table pose. Uh, for strength, do it in the morning and if you need a flexibility, do it in the evening. Thank you for watching.